Yes, Paul, please go ahead. Good evening, Jose Rito. A peaceful memorial service to commemorate Iran's former commander, Qasem Soleimani, turned into a chaotic, bloody event as two blasts killed about 100 people and scores wounded. An Iran authority who refused to provide his name had accused unspecified terrorists of planting two explosive devices along the road near the cemetery and had remotely been detonated. Bloodied bodies were scattered around in the area and some 200 people were injured and 95 were killed, making it the deadliest attack in the history of the Islamic Republic. Some Iranian news agencies claim the wounded was much higher as the second bomb was detonated just 20 minutes after the first blast when everyone was hurrying to leave the area. Iranian President Ebrahim Raisi called the incident a heinous and inhumane crime, while Supreme Leader Ayatollah Khamenei vowed revenge and declared that this will be dealt with a harsh response. But while authorities are probing the incident and have yet to declare the culprit, Iran's Hood Force top commander Ismail Khani stated that the attacks were carried out by the agents of Zionist regime and the United States. The United States denied the allegation. White House National Security Spokesperson John Kirby also stated that the U.S. has seen no indication that Israel was behind the blast. Back to you, Husilito. Thank you, Paul Gachalian, reporting live from New Zealand.